Hello, hello. There we are. There, yeah, we, there go. we are. Yay. <laughs> How's it going, Brent? Going on in an hour. Well, you know, it's going to be 60 degrees today, and we couldn't be happier. That's right. I'm telling you, it's in the 70s here. I, I don't know how y'all do winters there. I, I hunted in Iowa with Lee and Tiffany Lukoski in on January 1st, on New Year's Day one year. And I took my wife with me, and we both like to froze to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you this, January 1st in Iowa, definitely not a good idea. I feel like a lot of people no. hunt in Iowa. You're not the only artist I've heard say that. Must be some no, good hunting. It's, it's like the mecca for, for huge bucks, man. I think in, this, in the whole country that Iowa is the place to go. We've talked before, but it's been a while. How are things with you? Man, it's great. I'm chasing a little three months old around the house. Yeah. I'm around the house, but... but you know, doing the dad thing is is the best thing I've ever done with my life, man. He is uh there's something new every day and he's just uh he's my everything, him and him and my wife. So Well tell us how to the- spend the day with him. What's life like as a dad? How has it uh, been unexpected and uh, what have you you know, what's happened that you really thought would happen, if anything? Man, I, I don't know. It's one of those things where everybody, you know, when, when they find out you're having a baby, everybody has all this advice. It's hard to take it all in. And then <laughs> you have a few people that tell you, hey, man, no matter what anybody says, it's a learning experience. And, and that's what it has been for us. It's just kind of going day by day. And, and uh, she's, you know, reading all the books and the what to expect and all that. And I've read a little bit, but you know, <laughs> we're just trying to play it by ear and, and you know, be the best dad I can. All right. Has uh, Barrett been an easy baby so far? He or really is- has, honestly. But he, uh, he's he got a little cold right now. So oh, no. He oh. hasn't been sleeping through the night like he had been. And, and uh, he's having a little trouble with that. But he's uh, outside of that, man, it's been... Um, He's, he's been awesome. <laughs> well, that's good. I know you're you're a pretty, you know, tough guy. You have that tough guy mentality. So were you a little bit relieved that you got a boy the first time around instead of a girl? It's okay to be yeah, honest, well, Brantley. I, I, <laughs> hands down. I, I, you know, if I had a little girl, I probably would have been in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told people before we found out if it was a girl, you know, when it was time... You know, to cross that bridge when when a boy come to pick her up, I was probably you know if he looked, talked, or acted anything acted anything like me, I was just gonna stab him on sight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been a country song or two about that over the years. <laughs> <laughs> one or three, uh, one or three. Yeah. How about uh, any more kids for you and Amber on the way in the future, or have you decided yet? Not immediately, but I, I, I think we will. I think we're gonna give him a little bit of time and. Yeah. Let him get on his feet and, and then uh and then see what happens. Well, and if he's a little older, then he can stick up for a sis if she were to come say, along. Yeah, if he has a girl the next time around, at least she's got a big brother and a dad watching over. That's right. Give dad a little bit of help. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now, does your family, do they usually travel with you or are you away from home a lot or... I am, but they've actually, uh, they've come on a couple runs. Uh, the closer, the, the you know, the, the runs closer to the house they've been on this year. And and, and it, it's been so cool to have him out there. He actually came out on stage uh-huh. uh, when we played the show in Augusta uh, real briefly, you know, just to come out and kind of see everything. He just got real wide-eyed and looked around <laughs> and, uh, Back to backstage, you know, before anybody got a real good look at it. But <laughs> oh yeah, maybe uh, maybe uh, he's gonna follow in your footsteps. Oh, listen, you know, um, maybe so. If he decided to do something else, I'd be okay with that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you this, Brantley. You might consider bringing Barrett and Amber along in May because it is much warmer here in May, right? Than yeah, when you no come hunting. That, that's that's for sure. Yeah, we, I think they could handle a May show up there. That's right. We would <laughs> welcome them with open arms. Now, obviously, you've been busy being a dad the last few months, though. Is there new music on the way? That new album, uh, you know, been uh, out for quite a while now, so we're obviously thinking about new music down the road, hopefully soon. <laughs> for sure. We're working on it. And, uh, you know, anytime I, I put a record out, I go ahead and start on the next one. Cause they're all chapters of my life, and, and 
I don't see this one being any different. You know, he's got a couple songs about him already, but it, it's actually been surprisingly harder uh, to write a song about him than I thought mm-hmm. it would be. But, you know, I'm already yeah. picky, and your your own worst critic says the songwriter, you know, being a song about my son has got to be absolutely perfect, even more so than, you know, than other songs that I'm already picky about. So uh, it's been pretty difficult, but I've got two that I'm really proud of about him that, that uh, will probably be on that next record, if I had to guess. Nice. Yeah, I love in a lot of your music, you know, a lot of your older songs were about Amber and it'll be cool to see, you know, hear some of your newer stuff that has, you know, your life now. Um, Also, we're excited about it. Yeah. So how did you get started in music? Like, who were your influences? You know, the influence question's always been a a hard one for me to answer because I feel like everything I've ever heard has been an influence in one way, form, or fashion. It may have inspired me to never do anything like it. (laughs) 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 So, you know, I can tell you Skinner's my favorite band. Yeah. Uh, But, you know, but I I, I listen to a little bit of everything coming up, and and I think that's uh, helped me as a songwriter is. You know, it's, uh, I'm able to get outside the box a little bit and have a little bit of fun with it. Now, if you wouldn't have gotten into music, do you have any idea what you might have done? I was one of them kids in college, man, that like, changed my major a bunch of times. Like, at first I thought, you know, criminal justice sounded fun, and then I looked at me and, and, and all my friends and figured that wasn't the route to go. <laughs> Yeah, I thought about being a relationship counselor and figured I'd be responsible for more divorce and social media. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, man. Maybe coaching. I, I was uh, enjoying coaching. I went into uh, that for a minute, and teaching and coaching seemed like a, a pretty good fit. So I'm going to guess that's probably the route I'd have taken. That would have been good. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. that makes sense. Well, we are so excited to have you back in Cedar Rapids on your The Ones That Like Me tour. Now, for the people who have probably heard you on the radio but never in concert, what can they expect from a Brantley Gilbert concert? It's going to be a party. It's going to be a good time. We've got Aaron Lewis coming out with us and Mr. Josh Phillips. And Josh is a new guy on the block. and He's been killing it, man. He's, he's been doing a great job. You already know Aaron Lewis is the yep. party. Yep. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's high octane, a lot of energy, and uh, just just an all around good time. Well, May tenth is the big day at the U.S. Cellular Center. We will be there, and we look forward to it, Brantley. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, thank y'all so much for having me. We look forward to seeing. You.